morning. This is news of the week. The head of Kubernetes carrier Senk in Akov inspected the building of a highway passing through Kislovodsk, Dalina Narzanov, Jilosu, Elbrus settlements. The highway is to develop the infrastructure of the Republic. From the other side, it will facilitate and shorten the way to airport mineral waters. The healing properties of Jilosu sources are well known from ancient times. However, to reach it, you need to pass a rough path. The decision of building a road to the sources was made four years ago. The length of the route is 71 kilometers. Besides, Zolsky region is going to become a special economical area for creating a new mountain resort and spa. The road to Elbrus will connect both resorts. Building of the object is being realized by Pitigorsk turnkey contract organization. More than 30 units of heavy machinery are involved into the project. The warranty of the work is five years. Apart from the main road, the two-kilometer approach to Kichibalik settlement has also been asphalted. Costs of the construction will make more than two billion rubles. On Saturday, people of Nalchuk remembered the seven-year-old events when the city was attacked by terrorists. At 9 a.m. on the 13th of October 2005, a group of gunmen blocked entries into Nalchik. The airport was fired. Three efforts of capturing police stations, military unit and commissariat were attempted. Some objects were taken by storm. The criminals planned a blasting of mobile communication station. During 48 hours, Nalchik was in a terroristic blockade. According to official information, from 80 to 200 people participated in the attack. The majority of them were inhabitants of Nalchik. Over 2,000 of military staff were defending the capital of Kobernabal carrier those days. As a result, 87 terrorists were killed. 50 were captured alive. Unfortunately, it was not possible to avoid loss among civilian population. Fifteen inhabitants of Nalchik and 35 police officers were shot by the criminals. More than 100 people were wounded. The trial of this case has been continuing till nowadays. More than 50 people are accused to be the participants of the attack. The clients of Post Office No. 19, which has been robbed on Tuesday in Nalchik, will get their money back in time. This is a report of Federal Post Service of Kabernabal Carrier. On the 9th of October in the morning, four armed criminals rushed into the post office and, having wounded the cash manager, stole nearly five and a half million rubles. Robbers carried out their plan on a professional holiday of post service. At the moment, the bandits are being wanted by by the police. A big road accident has happened this week at the Federal Highway Caucasus at 6.30 a.m. near Kubataba settlement. A car got under Kamaz wheels. Four people became victims of the accident. According to the official information, the 25-year-old driver of the car was moved to the zone of oncoming traffic. This is News of the Week. Wish you all the best and see you next week. Goodbye.